Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, I'm going to be doing a part two of a video I did previously where I showed you guys how I retouched the particular image. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'm going to put it before and after on the screen right now. And I also put like a um, link up here or a link in the description below so you guys can click it and go watch that video. It's actually a really nice video and one of like my favorite retouching videos. I showed you guys how I retouched the particular outdoor image that was shot by a friend in Ghana. And at the end, I said I was going to do a part two showing you guys how I color graded that image and this is the part two. This video is meant to show you guys that color grading is not that hard if you just know the right tools to use and probably how to tweak your images just you know by little increments then you get like a really nice color graded image. I was going to say color corrected but let's talk about color correction. Before you color grade your images make sure that your images are well color corrected in Lightroom Capture One or Camera Raw it really does not matter what raw processing software you use just make sure that your tint is like perfect and your white balance is perfect you know or as close to perfect as possible before you take it to photoshop and you start color grading your images that way your images just look really balanced and everything just you know sits well or the color grade just sits well on top of the color corrected image so yeah that's about it we're going to go to photoshop but before we do that do not forget to subscribe to this channel go hawk smash on the like button if you like my content and also comment below at the end of this video let me know if you learned a thing or two so yeah let's get straight into photoshop and i'll show you guys how i color graded this image Hey guys, we're in Photoshop now and the first thing that I want to do is show you guys what um, the graded image looks like. So this is the graded image and we're going to take it a little bit further in this video because I'll be showing you another tool. So um, today we're working with two tools basically um, and that is the selective color adjustment layer and would we'll also come and work with color balance right now there's no particular way to grade your images um, it just depends on the image the environment the colors you have and how um, how far you want to take it and what you're looking to get so today I'm just going to be showing you how these tools work and in the process of doing that I'm going to be retouching an image sorry I'm just going to show you how these tools work and in the process of doing that I'm going to be color grading this image now this is a really nice image and the uh, first thing that i want to do is make it a little bit more contrasty if you haven't seen the video where i retouched this image you should definitely check that out let me show you guys the before and the after so this is the before and that's the after now like i said the first thing that i'll do is make the image a bit more contrasty so i'm just going to go to my levels adjustment layer i uh, open curves by mistake so let's go back to down here and levels adjustment layer so i'm just going to hold option or alternate on pc option on mac drag it uh, my whites in a little bit you know then i'm just going to pull my blacks in just a little bit more to add some contrast to this image so <clears throat> i think this this looks um this looks good yeah now, the next thing that I'm going to go into is my selective color. So I'm going to open the selective color adjustment layer. Now, this is where your color grading starts from. So we're going to pick one of the colors here. Now, I do not want to work on the reds because her skin tones are red, her hair is red. So that's not what I'm trying to work on. I want to work on the background. I want to work on everything that's happening around the image. And this is the amazing thing about selective color, the fact that you can pick and choose the colors that you want to work on individually in your image so now i'm just going to go to yellows and probably just drag my sands down immediately you can see how it's affecting the image now the thing is there's some yellows in her hair and her skin and for this image it's affecting that but i just like the way it looks overall so probably around 65 is fine then we're just going to you know take some magentas out of it right and add some yellows in the yellow go all the way up and that's where we are at right now so let's see uh, before and uh, after now like i said for this particular thing there is no specific um, number that you dial in it just depends on your image but what i'm just trying to show you guys is how selective color works and how you can use it to grade your images so this is the before and this is the after with selective color you guys can see we're already working on this image so i'm just going to go to my greens because i want to work 
some more of my grains, right? You know, reduce the cyans in it. If I increase it, you guys see how it looks. It looks greener. I'm just going to reduce the cyans. Then I'm just going to increase my magentas. If I reduce my magentas, then I'm adding more greens to it. So I'm just going to increase my magentas and I'm going to increase my yellows. So yeah, this is where we're at right now. Before and after, before and after. I'm going to go into my cyans, increase my cyans and reduce my magentas. As you guys can see, this right now is now affecting the back. So once I'm just put my cyans now, once I increase my cyans, you can see the windows because the windows were kind of like bluish. It's just working right there at the back of the image. And if I increase my magentas, you guys can see it's a lot more blue. But if I reduce it, it's giving this um, teal look. So we can see we're going for the orange and teal look. Um, let's see what we can do with the yellows at the back. Mm, so if we pull it down, take it up, it's more teal. If we pull it down, it's more blue. So probably just going to increase the yellows in our cyans. So now another thing about using selective color is that you can actually add more selective color layers and do as you please with it. So you can go crazy with this, right? So I'm just going to pull down my greens again. Pull down my magentas just a bit more now bear in mind i have done this before and i am just going over everything that i've done before i'm just going to come to my yellows again pull my yellows down and just reduce the magenta again in my yellows so yeah that's about it that's mostly what i'm doing for this image um you guys can see this right here is where we started and just with selective color look at how far we have gone with this image by just using selective color right now the next thing that i would like to do with this image this image looks really really good right now and i don't think there's a lot more that you should do with this image but i'm just going to take it a little further i like her hair i like how it looks and I would like to just make it pop a lot more and that's what i did for this image so i'll go into my hue saturation go to reds increase my saturation for my reds I, I don't know how crazy i'm willing to go with that then now i'm going to invert my layer mask so i'm just going to invert it pick a brush make sure my flow and my opacity is at 100 and make sure that my brush color is white and i'm just going to paint over her hair i'm not going to be like too careful about this just make sure that i'm not painting over her skin and just make her hair a lot red you guys can see by the way that's her natural hair so yeah so let's see our uh, before and uh, after with that i'm just going to put all this in the group so that and that's command g or control g on the pc so you guys can see how far i've come so this is our before and this is our after right now there are a few other things that i love to do for an image like this i would like to um the concentration to be on her face once you open the the or once you see an image like this i do not want you to see the whole environment and all that. i just want you to see her face so i'm going to create a new layer down here pick my gradient tool right make sure that it's black just black hold shift and just drag down and create like a vignette around her right and once i have done that i'm going to change my blend mode to soft light so you guys can see before after before after it's just giving it like a vignette and making everything around her you know dark i would like to take that a step further so i'm going to come to my adjustment layers create a curves adjustment layer make sure that it's just a little bit dark right then i'll pick like a soft brush i'll pick a really soft brush that's really big and i'm just going to paint with black right here yes that's about it as you guys can see i checked before and after i see the edges are just a little bit darker 
and it's just making sure that once you look at this image you are concentrating on her and <clears throat> sorry once you look at this image you're concentrating on her and nothing else so now that we're done with selective color and just these other little things that are here and i hope you guys are learning one or two things from this the next thing i'm going to do is open a color balance layer so what color balance will help you do that is different from selective color is that it helps you work on your mid-tones your highlights and your shadows now selective color will help you work on those colors and uh, highlights or the, the the blacks and the whites of those particular colors but um what the color balance tool just does is that it helps you work on your mid-tones your highlights and your shadows you can add different colors like blues greens red cyan, all of all of that to your image so let me show you guys now typically what i like doing is i like adding blues to my shadows so i'm just going to add some blues to my shadows right here um minus four that looks fine let's see um before after right yeah, that looks really good um now i'm just going to go to my mid-tones and make my mid-tones a bit warmer yes looks really nice maybe add some greens to it since we're just going crazy and grading this image the way we want it to look then i'm going to go to my highlights and just make my highlights warmer too and maybe just add some greens to it okay that's fine should we add some cyan to the highlights no okay maybe reds okay so let's see our before and after with this so this is our before and our after see how warm sorry see how um cool it looked before and now with our color balance we've just made it pop we've given it this i'll say this summer look i think i don't know it's a summer spring but I don't know. it just looks really nice so we're just going to toggle this group off and on to see where we started so this is where we started this is how our image looked when we started and boom look at where we are at. this is it color grading is really easy you really do not have to have a particular or you do not need a particular formula to be able to do this just look at different images look at how people color grade their stuff know the right tools to use and for me that's selective color and color balance and you are fine you are good to go so yeah that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys learned anything at all definitely comment below let me know also go hawk smash on that like button if you love my content and do not forget to subscribe to my channel toggle the bell icon be one of the first people to know when i put up new videos and i really love and appreciate you guys thank you so much for being a part of this channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace. Prince Mason got that sauce in it.